Hey, good morning. We uh, were sent down to West Palm Beach to help out one of our sister stations with coverage through what was sure to be a very few long days uh, for Floridians. Originally, of course, the track was uh, going up the East Coast, then it shifted to the West with Naples, Florida getting hit the hardest. So we were able to step outside after riding through most of the storm at the TV station and just give you an update on what we've been able to see. Most of it in West Palm Beach was high winds with a lot of flooding problems as well. Earlier yesterday, we caught this. In fact, this video coming to us from the Martin County Sheriff's Department of two boaters who needed rescue. This was shortly before noon. This was as Irma was starting to make landfall at the Keys. So the worst of it hadn't even hit this area. Martin County, by the way, just about an hour north of uh, West Palm Beach. We talked with one of those boaters afterwards. I was doing everything I could to save it, um, and it just got out of hand. The electric pumps couldn't keep up with the water coming over it. Then we got the hand pumps out. Um, it just We just couldn't keep up with the water that was coming over the boat. Your message to the first responders who risked their lives Thank saving you. Very much. I really, you know, I, I didn't want them to risk their lives either, you know what I mean, to be honest with you. Um, but they did, and they did a great job. It was perfect. That's Brian Gallagher. He said he lives on that boat. It's his livelihood. He's not sure when he's going to be able to get out and assess the damage, but says he isn't sure it'll be in one piece. Reporting with photojournalist Catherine Stewart from West Palm Beach. I'm Dan Kennedy. Now back to you.